Need to get myself together, I'm a man Straight up oh, okay, stop. In bikini bottom, I'm a stand Oh, you should keep on drinking out of brand I was till I lay heavy Like a light 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 Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how I watercolor my wigs jet black. Y'all see this is like a brown color. You might can't tell on camera but these wigs come brown. I personally like my wigs to be jet black. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm taking my got to be free spray and I'm just spraying this all over the lace and doing this just kind of helps to protect the lace so that the lace doesn't stain in the dyeing process and I'm just going to go ahead and blow dry that. I like to do three layers of this spray just to make sure that it is completely covered um you want this to be super hard and just completely dry so that is what i'm doing as y'all can see i'm using a ton of this spray like i am not playing i be having to buy bottles of this spray just because i be running out so quick i be spraying this wig down because we not doing the, the stained laces. So this is how it turned out. It's super hard, super crunchy. This is perfect. This is exactly how you want it to look. So now I'm going to take my Revlon Color Silk. And this is in the color black. I personally like to use two boxes of this dye. Um, one box definitely works. But I feel like two boxes make this color last super long. And it gets this super duper black. So I'm just pouring the dye or the peroxide into the developer. And I'm just shaking this up really, really good. You want it to be completely shaken up. And I let that sit for five minutes so that the dye and the developer can do its thing and get really um saturated <laughs> i don't know if that's the right word and then i'm taking my five gallon trash can that i got from walmart and i like to do about eight cups of hot water y'all my hot my water is very hot but if your water doesn't get that hot boil your water first you don't want to use like warm or cold water or it's not going to um, mix the dye up really good so um, I'm using hot water and I just pour both of the dyes into the water. I personally like using this container to watercolor instead of like those big rectangular ones because I can add less water if that makes sense because if you add more water the dye isn't really going to work because it's going to be too watery. Um, so I just went ahead and I put the wig into the watercolor and I just submerged the whole entire wig and after that I kind of pull out the lace so that the lace doesn't just sit in the water and get a chance to stain so i let that sit for about 20 minutes and then after 20 minutes i submerge the lace again and i let it sit for 10 minutes and then i submerge it again and let it sit for five minutes um that way i'm actually getting like the roots or the hairline of the wig as well and not just the ends of the hair so i'm just rinsing this out and getting it completely rinsed out and this is basically how it turned out y'all i didn't show the other parts of me plucking and doing all that i have several videos on my channel but it came out super black and i loved it so to install this wig i'm gonna take some alcohol usually i use 91 percent, but i ran out of my 91 percent, so i had to use 70 percent. it worked fine as well And I just go ahead and I plop that wig onto my head. It looks so good. This lace is so invisible. Like, it's perfect. And then, once I get the wig in a nice position on my head, I just pull the lace upward. And I'm using my olive oil wig grip gel. I got this from Target. It costs like $5 at Target. And I'm just using this popsicle stick to apply the gel onto my skin around my hairline. A lot of people ask me and say, why are you using glue? But you say you're not using glue. This isn't a glue, y'all. This is a gel. A gel and a glue are completely different things. You put gel on your hair every day um so this isn't harmful okay it's just gel so i'm just blow drying this on a warm setting and getting it tacky and then i just pull that lace down and put it into the gel and then i'm just pressing it down combing it in to make sure that the lace is completely adhered to that gel 
and then once it is completely down i just take my elastic band that i got from amazon and i just tie it down so now i'm gonna take my she is bomb wax stick i got this from i actually got it from the beauty supply store but you can definitely find it on amazon and i'm just hot combing this wig down this is my end is hot comb and i'm using it on the hottest setting this hot comb gets so hot sometimes i'll be having to turn it down that's how hot it gets but a hot hot comb is the best way to lay a wig i love a nice hot hot comb it's gonna get it super flat um and sleek on the top so i'm just sectioning off parts of my hair on the top adding a hot um adding a wax stick and then hot combing on top of it And then I just pulled that elastic band off. After about 20 minutes, I like to really let it sit and melt. And now I'm just cutting off the lace. I did cut, cut slits into the lace to make cutting off the lace easier. And I am using an eyebrow razor to cut this lace off. I'm cutting as close to my skin as possible um, so that I don't have a lot of lace left on my skin. So then I'm just combing out my baby hairs because they was a little crunchy after that gel, okay? That gel begins to look a little crunchy. <laughs> but a nice little combing out will definitely help soften it back up. And I'm just pulling out some sideburns as well. I love some good sideburns on a wig. Um, and I did that on the other side as well. Now I'm taking my Ebon Wonder Lace Adhesive Spray. And I'm just spraying this along the edges of that lace um, to just kind of further melt the lace and help this lace also last longer. And then I just tie that down with the same elastic band and I let it sit for about 10 minutes. So the baby hair was a little bit too thick um so I'm just taking my tweezers and I'm just going in and I'm thinning out just a little bit nothing crazy and I'm pulling off that excess hair that I tweezed out. Now I'm going to cut these baby hairs off. I always like to cut my baby hairs with an eyebrow razor. I don't like using scissors. Um eyebrow razor just helps make them come out a little bit more natural so I'm doing that to my sideburns and my baby hairs as well and then I'm taking my pencil flat iron and I'm curling the baby hairs upward. This just helps to get them in a nice little um form so that i can start to lay them so i finally found the perfect concoction to lay baby hairs on a lace wig i use my herbal essence mousse and well i put some of the eco styler gel on the edge comb and then i put some of the mousse on the comb as well and i lay them and this is just perfect it just lays them so perfect i have had the worst trouble doing baby hairs in the past but i finally figured out the good concoction so i did that lay my baby hairs and it looks so good so then i'm taking my hair cutting comb and i'm just putting layers like on this side of the hair and i'm actually flat ironing the hair a little bit before i curl it um and i'm using my conair curling iron this is the one and one fourth inch curling iron i love this curling iron um well, i don't like this specific curling iron but i like this specific size i'm definitely gonna have to find another curling iron because this one is just it's okay but i feel like it's way better ones out there and i'm actually doing pin curls so i'm pinning the um hair up just to make it kind of i don't know i just wanted to try something different and see if it made it last a little bit longer which it didn't i feel like i probably shouldn't have flat ironed the hair i probably should have just blue dried the hair first um and then curled it um but you know you live and you learn the, the girl still turned out really cute but i feel like they could have looked better so i'm just curling my hair and i'll let y'all watch me curl this side of my head I took my pins out and this is how the curls turned out so freaking cute i love how they turned out they're very really loose and just body so this is the end of the video i really hope you guys enjoyed it as y'all saw at the beginning of this video i dyed this wig jet black and i think it looks so good this is just like a little updated version kind of a different method like i look like i'm ready for valentine's day <laughs> this is arabella hair one thing i will say about this hair though is it definitely sheds a lot more than um other wigs i've had i don't know if it's just this unit because i've had arabella in the past and it didn't shed like this that's my only complaint about this wig the lace on this wig 
chef's kiss love the lace on this wig if y'all are interested in purchasing this wig i will leave the link to this wig in the description box down below so make sure you go and check that out um, i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also turn your post notifications so that you can always be notified always when your girl posts a video catch you guys in the next one